Since the beginning of politics in this community, we have always had problems, one of which is our hospital. During campaigns, they take all our complaints and list of needs and they promise to meet these needs. But after that, they forget us. We don't know why. Maybe they don't even recognize us at the government level. This hospital we built ourselves through community effort. Also, the school was built by members of this community. Thirdly is our roads. Every year I get support of the community members to make paths that we can use. All the time we suffer using these roads. Sometimes we have to use more difficult alternate roads before we get into town. The source of water provided for us is not enough. A town like ours is supposed to have a bigger source of water where we can drink from and feel the impact of government. So, I will plead with you to help us broadcast our cry so that those things they claim to have provided for us will truly be done. Another thing is we have no doctor in the hospital we built ourselves and when pregnant women go into labor, it's a big problem. So going forward, we are pleading with the current administration to help us with these things I've listed. Hospitals, roads and bridges, school and finally electricity. Do you know that in the same year 2015, 37.5 million naira was allocated as part of constituency project for the construction of three blocks of three classrooms each for some communities including Lahu. Lahu as of today does not have a functional school despite being part of a 37.5 million naira allocation for constituency project. They don't have electricity despite being part of a 90 million naira allocation and the thing about this is they were never even aware of these allocations to them in the first place till they were sensitized by our team that visited them. Uh, when I asked members of the Lahu community if they get a chance to vote during elections, the shocking answer was yes. I was told that some politicians cross that same river to seek their votes and of course make promises as usual. One must commend the people of Lahu for at least trying to help themselves by building a clinic, although empty, and a school on their own. Lahu community needs urgent attention from its representatives and the government. Uh, subsequently, we will reach out to the legislators representing Lahu and get their thoughts on the matter. Kadna is a community located in Boso local government area of Niger State. It is represented by Honorable Adamu Salihu in the Federal House of Representatives and Senator David Umaru in the Senate. Kadna Primary School was established in 1976. The school has only two blocks of three classrooms each and lacks basic infrastructure like chairs, tables and so on. Pupils sit on the floor or they are forced to share a table. Amidst all these, the school was split to accommodate a junior secondary school. Can you believe that? So, three classrooms for the primary school and three classrooms for the junior secondary school. I'm not even going to talk about the implications of that on the innocent children. In 2016, it appeared their prayers were answered. The sum of 9 million naira was allocated under the Universal Basic Education Commission for the construction of a block of two classrooms with furniture for the people of Kadna community. Let me say that again. 9 million naira was allocated for the construction and furnishing of a block of two classrooms. This timely and indeed laudable constituency project was facilitated by Honorable Adamusa Lihu. We tracked the project and this is what we found. We really appreciate the federal government by bringing up this block of building to our school. But right now as I'm speaking to you, our children, our pupils, the students are not uh, they are not, it's not a convenient environment because we are sharing a, we are sharing a bundle with primary school. 
in which it's not even convenient to them too. So we're appealing to the federal government to please come and complete this block of classroom and then so that it can enable us to move down to our permanent site. We have been told that a block of three classrooms with furniture will be built in this very school. But later on, we, we just saw a block of two classrooms without furniture. And right now, as I'm speaking to you, this block of classroom is a month old. And we have not come back yet, but it has started cracking. We don't know if the contractor will come back and then look at it so that something will be done. And then erosion is even packing away everything. We don't have access road to the school. We do normally follow the bush or people's farm to the school, which is not proper. So please, we are now appealing to the federal government to come to our aid. The building is there, two classrooms without furniture. But now the community we are still appealing to the honorable member that we want you to assist us because you can see our people staying on the line on the ground without chairs. So we want them to help us so that you bring more chair to the community so that we put for the classroom for the, our people to start using the classroom because that chair is very necessary. Children cannot sit on the floor without chair. That is one of our necessity. We are appealing to him, we plead with him so that we come to our aid, come and help us so that they will fix the chairs so that our children will start using the classroom so that the community will great. And we thank him for his effort he has done to us because without building the two classrooms for us, we may not have that classroom. He has tried a lot by bringing that two classroom to us, but we are still appealed, we are still appealing to him to do more to us because this community is his own community. We cannot say bad to him because he has tried a lot to us. Because when we went to another community, you see that this classroom is not built there. He know about us. That's why he brings this one to us. But we are appealing to him to do more to us so that our community will make this thing. So we thank him very much. God bless him. Not only was the project cited in a place that was inaccessible and remote, the quality of the work done is somewhat questionable. And finally, wasn't the project supposed to cover furnishing as well? I didn't see any furniture. Did you? Well, the people of Kadna are happy that they get to enjoy dividends of democracy. But like Oliver Twist, they want more. On the next episode of Tracker Plus, is there a difference between renovating and constructing a project? We stick to know. You don't want to miss it. Follow the social media handles on your screen. On Twitter, the hashtag is Get Involved. Send us pictures and videos of abandoned projects in your community. You can also send the pictures and videos through our eyewitness portal on the Channels TV mobile app available on Android, Windows and iOS devices. Remember, don't just complain about it, do something. Join us as we strive for a more transparent and accountable society. I'm Charles Semuze. Thank you for watching.